In most of the AC to DC power supplies, there is a power factor correction circuit at the front end to convert the AC voltage to DC voltage. Boost converter is the most common topology used for this purpose. But presence of diode bridge rectifier at the input of the PFC boost converter makes the circuit less efficient. A bridgeless totem pole PFC circuit can be used as an alternative, which has higher efficiency and power density. In this presentation I am explaining the working design and closed loop control of a totem pole PFC converter. So let's get started. This is the basic topology of a totem pole PFC converter. There is an inductor which is connected in series with the AC input voltage. There are two legs in the converter, one is called the low frequency leg and other one is called the high frequency leg. In the low frequency leg, diodes are normally used. But if you want to increase the total efficiency of the converter, silicon MOSFET can also be used. In the high frequency leg, we need to use devices which is having very low reverse recovery. So normal silicon MOSFET cannot be used. So normally silicon carbide or gallium nitride devices are used in totem pole converters, since these devices offers nearly zero reverse recovery. The totem pole PFC operates differently in the positive and negative half cycles of the AC mains input. During the positive half cycle, the device S2 is turned on with a duty cycle D. This will charge the inductor through device S2 and diode D2. Now for the remaining time of the switching cycle, that is 1 minus D duty ratio, the device S1 is turned on. This will discharge the energy in the inductor to the load. During the negative half cycle, the operation is similar except that the role of the high side and low side, high frequency switches are swapped. During this half cycle, the switch S1 is turned on for duty ratio of D. This will charge the inductor through S1 and D1. Now for remaining time of the switching cycle, that is 1 minus D duty ratio, the switch S2 is turned on. This will discharge the inductor to the load through S2 and D1. So for the complete cycle of operation, the high frequency switches, together with the inductor create a synchronous mode boost converter. Only difference is that, during positive half cycle, switch S2 is the main switch and S1 is the synchronous switch, and during negative half cycle, S1 is the main switch and S2 is the synchronous switch. One important thing to note here is that, during the positive and negative half cycle, the current flows through the inductor in opposite directions. This thing we need to consider while implementing the closed loop control logic. Now we will see how to design the converter. Before that I will give you the specification. Input voltage range is 85 to 265 volt RMS. Output voltage is 400 volt. Rated power is 2.5 kilowatt. Line frequency is 50 hertz. Switching frequency is 40 kHz. Current ripple is 30%. Voltage ripple is 1%. And efficiency is 95%. Now RMS value of inductor current is given by, IL RMS is equal to, power output divided by, efficiency into, minimum value of input voltage RMS. That is IL RMS is equal to, 2500 divided by, 0 0.95 into 85. Which gives 30.95 ampere RMS. Now peak value of the inductor current is 30.95 into root 2, which is 43.77 ampere. Now the value of inductor is calculated using the equation L is equal to output voltage divided by 4 into switching frequency into current ripple. That is L is equal to 400 divided by 4 into 40 kilohertz into 43.77 into 0 0.3, which gives 190 microhenry. Value of capacitance is calculated using the equation, C out is equal to, P out divided by V out, all divided by, 4 into pi into line frequency into voltage ripple. That is C out is equal to, 2500 divided by 400, all divided by, 4 pi into 50 into, 400 into 0 0.01. Which gives 2486 microfarad as the value of capacitance. Now we will explain the closed loop control scheme of the totem pole PFC converter. First need to sense the AC input voltage. From that we need to have a mechanism to detect the polarity of the voltage. Also need to find the absolute value of the voltage and its RMS value. Absolute value of the voltage is divided by square of the RMS value to find the multiplication factor. Now find the error between actual output voltage with the reference voltage and give to API controller. 
output of the pi controller is multiplied with the multiplication factor to find the current reference. Reference current is now compared with the actual inductor current and given to API controller. Since the current through the inductor flows in opposite direction during positive and negative half cycle, we need to consider positive IL during positive half cycle and minus IL during negative half cycle in the controller. Now finally generate the PWM signals based on the output of the current controller. Here also we need to consider the polarity of AC input voltage, since the duty ratio, D, of the high frequency switches are different during positive and negative half cycles. In my next video I will demonstrate the math lab simulation of totem pole converter using this control scheme and the designed inductor and capacitor values.